Hello guys and welcome back to Songs of Six. If you want to skip my talk, just use the chapters or the time marker I'm putting on the screen just about now. And for all the other people who are interested in how the series is going to continue, I'm putting the results of the poll on screen and I have to say it's the worst case scenario. You guys are split right down the middle. I think we know enough about version 67 right now that the that the option of continuing the series and loading it in the new version is a ruled out because there is lots of game breaking bugs and some people said they could play it for a few hours and then the play, uh, the save just completely breaks so I think that's the worst option possible where we continue the series and then it just breaks and we have to cut it off uh, the most voted option is actually to start a new series on version 67. The problem is that's 45% of you, so the other 55% technically voted to continue the series, but it was the most voted option. What I'm going to do, and that's a plan I came up with, which I'm pretty excited about, as a little goodie to you guys for the absolutely massive support this series has been getting, I'm at 1100 or more I'm putting the subscriber number on screen so as my thank you to you guys for your support I'm doing both that doesn't technically mean that I can upload more often I'm still working 50 to 60 hours a week so I don't really have more than a few hours per week to record so it won't be more videos videos but I think I have an amazing idea for a second series so first of all if that's all you're interested in this series will continue and I will try my best to conquer the world and I'll do this as long as it takes. I can switch back and forth in the versions through Steam so that's no problem and I will also start production on a second series and I have an amazing idea about the second series that will inherently take longer to produce the videos so it will probably be one video about this series per week i think i can keep this pace up and every two weeks i will release an, a video on the new series on version 67 and the new series will be interactive for you guys so i want to take the whole city builder thing and make it more of a community game but I think I'll talk more about that in the first episode of the next series. The new series, more like. So this will continue. If you're interested to see the bug boys conquer the world, fear no more. Enough talking and let's get back into the series. By the way, I'm recording this after I recorded the whole episode, so I'm sorry. I'm just saying it straight up. This episode has been terrible. Like gameplay wise, I really did a bad job. So enjoy, goodbye, have a nice weekend, drink some beer. Welcome back to Songs of Six. We are heading right back in. Our city must grow, our empire must grow. The world is already trembling. We've made our first mark. The first domino has fallen. Now it's just a matter of of minutes no uh, it will take a while but we have our first region we used it mainly to get some quality of life for me so now I don't have to look after my stone income we can produce our own iron and we are starting to produce the first bit of paper and an administration is also under construction So before we can start conquering more and more of the world, we need an army. The army we currently have is 140 bucks strong, which seems like a lot, but it really isn't. Because only 20 of those have anything to fight with and know how to fight. The other 120 are just there to watch the show. But they did gain some experience from the fight, I see. 
So we are going to edit this division and we are going to add 30 little bugs to it. So this division is now full with 150 soldiers. And our dungeon is under construction. Then we can start storing up prisoners. And once we have enough prisoners and enough science, we will try to unlock Grand Temples. And then it's just a matter of converting our little city to the Spider Goddess of Shmolor, or however you pronounce it. We have one haven, 11 giant spiders are already waiting to be let in. We just need the right religion and some more food. But our food stores are, as you can see, growing and growing. The only way is up. So it's just a matter of time. We are getting raided again. A small force apparently. And my forces are not so small. The equipment is still very hit or miss. Some of them are pretty well equipped, some of them have almost no equipment at all. So I think we are going to use our good old method of charging them with the big swarm. So let's start. Those guys will charge immediately and those guys will run over here. And let's see what happens. We have our first death. Very sad. My actual good fighters don't seem to be able to go in, get in the fight. Okay, now, now I think we have an engagement. I'm moving my soldiers in. Okay, now we are fighting. Pretty big mosh pit. Morale is looking pretty bad actually. 1.4, 1.7. Don't know if we have killed any Amoebias so far. We lost the second soldier. Oh, there's a one dead. Okay, that morale is at 0.6. So I think all we can do is speed it up a bit and hope that our people don't break. But theirs do. Seven, eight deaths so far on our side. Morale is looking stable at least. Okay, the first enemies are breaking. And three enemies left, one enemy and victory, perfect. This was costly, I think, I don't, my, I don't think my little hospital will be able to keep up with the demand. We have a few Amevias and Dondorians, we took captives, let's employ our good old Executioners. And let's get a few more cannibals just in case. Let's see what's going on here. A perfect little economy. We don't let anything go to waste. Our prisoners are immediately turned into leather and meat. Some of them into cotton. Okay, must be the Denorians. Cannibals are hard at work. Removing the corpses. The prison is almost constructed. 60 more, 64 more iron bars and then we can build our dungeon. Another raid 
another chance for myself to embarrass another chance for myself to embarrass myself um this time we're not fighting a small force we're fighting an average force and i'm very intrigued to find out how what what is considered average okay 15 tilapis average armor whoa 15 cretonians 8 plate armor 8 falcatas these are okay band of strongmen 6.7 plate armor 6.7 ar arrows okay this could potentially be a lot worse than the last fight The enemy is much more armored. I f don't think I'm just blindly charging in this time. Oh, no. Okay. Maybe we are running, please? Okay, they are charging me. And we try to surround them, which in total war would be an amazing move, but here it really doesn't matter too much, I think. And now we wait. Nothing more we can do. Already lost a few of my guys. Two people died, I think. And let's watch the stabbing. Okay, I think a few of them are running, but my morale is also not the greatest. We've scattered one or two divisions. The problem are the more armored division. If we can't break them, they will break us. I can guarantee you as much. My first division lost four bucks. The second division lost... 17 so far and the third division five so all in all pretty big losses so far how's it looking now one of my divisions is almost scattering now a few enemies are breaking two of my divisions are close to breaking at least the uh, in the division windows they are flickering once the enemy has some armor things are looking different once again i think one of my divisions has broken yes Okay, I think we will lose this. Yeah, those guys are running now. And my swarm is also running. Okay, that's the first field battle we lose. The enemy was too well equipped. And now they will move into my city and... They will try to reach my throne room. I'm short a few workers, as you can see. Five men. Five is all that's left of them. Where is the enemy? Over here. Okay, there's more coming. It's not just those five. Okay, I, I definitely can't train the soldiers in time. No, I definitely do not want to hand out gifts at this point. 
The enemy is moving in. My people are training. Can we do it? Forty percent of my warehouse stock. That hurts. Okay, they took all my money and almost half of everything I had. And now I think a few people who lost the fight should return, if I remember how this works. So, the last raid left me decimated, so for now I can't do really anything else, especially if they have an impressive force, then to just pay them off. We were up to 650 population, and this raid took us down to just about 400. I've been letting in immigrants left and right, just to get my population back up and running. My labs are completely desolate. Oh, I, I don't have any masons. So this kind of set us back a little. Okay, and I think I'll just try to get back to where I was. Oh, my science is going up. Is this the salvation I've been waiting for? We have enough science. Yes. You go. Let's tear it down. Okay. Which means I will need a new Balti Crawler Breeder. Yes, I will. So, let's just keep building one over here. And this will be the, the space for our, for our temple. And once we have our temple, we can start to convert people. We have 29 people working in this prison for four prisoners. Okay, that was an oversight. Even five is extreme for four prisoners.
as you saw in the time lapse, this this took a while. <laughs> I really wasn't service, uh, sure how to go about it, but I think I've I came up with quite a decent design. The only thing that drives me absolutely crazy about this is that I think it's not symmetrical. Yeah, it's not. That's then here is the problem, but that's just it hurts my soul. But I, I, I just clicked the button. I spent too much time this uh, uh, designing this. As you can hear, I, I can barely talk anymore. This took everything. After this abomination next to it, which I just puked out. I, I, I poured my heart and soul into this and now we have to construct it because this is probably the most important building of this playthrough. After we have this we can finally start we can finally start converting our people to the one and true religion which is the religion of the spider goddess. And once we are all followers of the spider goddess, we finally, finally get some soldiers who, who are worth having. Our bugs, our bugs are just, they are just training the enemy, so in, in theory we are, by fighting them we are making them even stronger. And now we have to wait ages for this to be constructed. Taking 1539 cut stone. We have 400. Okay, and now we wait for this to be constructed. Could take a while. So, my people have built what they could. We are still missing 400 cut stone and 200 furniture, but that's just a matter of some time. We are also building the body crawler breeder. And another raid came in and we paid them off because I'm in no position to fight anyone right now. Everything will change once this building is completed. And the temple to Shmalor is finished. And if I might say so myself, I think it's one of my prettier buildings. And then I immediately see this little spot which isn't built. So need to refurbish it, need to get some doors out into the courtyard, okay. This will take a moment and then we have doors and they should be able to build every last piece of this building, I hope. So this thing, this building does two things for us. It makes my people very happy. It gives them complete temple fulfillment, which is a huge bar, and we all know the longer the bar, the better. And, more importantly, as you can see now, we have 152 followers of Schmalerism, and we have 374 followers of Aminianism. The temple will slowly convert everyone over to the spider religion. And that will give us some bony or bonuses, however you want to call it, some offense skill, some negative, some negative defense skill, and some submission. So my slaves will be more submissive, I guess. And the most important thing, it will convert our people to schmalerism, and once we reach 60% Schmalerism, we have 29% at the moment, we get access to Argonosh. At the moment we could access 10 of those guys. The goal obviously is to have a bit more than 10. Because those guys will be our soldiers. We also need 20 food days for that, so we will need to get a lot more food going. Okay, around uh, 15 to 20 minutes have passed. I 
didn't do much of anything really. Just let some time pass. I upgraded the shrines. I did upgrade our one region. And it's now providing us with some wood and some meat and fish as well. Just quality of life. I've bought some food. And the temple was continuously execute, uh, sacrificing, sorry, not executing, big difference, um, prisoners. And we now have converted most of our people, at least 60% or so, to the religion of the spider goddess. Which, in turn, mm, gave me this message. So, some Argonosh have decided to join us. So now we have five Argonosh immigrants, which we can let in. They will immediately try to furnish their homes. Loyalty is shooting down. They will probably leave again. It's a bit of a back and forth in the beginning. Yeah, they do have temples. They don't like... I need to give them crypts. Services wise, we are not providing much except for fight pits and access is the big thing. So they do get four food rations. They get full furniture for their homes. And I'm quickly checking what do they want. They want stone buildings or mountains. Okay, which we are providing, at least stone buildings. Mountains I cannot provide since we don't have mountains on this map. So we'll see if they decide to join or leave. What I can do is I can give them a big, big paycheck to make them a bit more loyal. Good old buying of loyalty. But I think, yeah, they are getting full food ration. Fulfillment now. And the one thing we need Argonosh for is... We are creating a division. The division will for now be 10 people. They will be Argonosh and we will fully train them. Which gives them 24 morale. Lots and lots of offense skills additionally to their force. Which we will also... I think we're giving them Falxes. Why not? Except... Which also means that my other division needs no equipment anymore. Might as well stop training them. I mean, why waste precious resources on those guys if we have our... And I'm having to give them a name. Callback. Some of you remind me in the in the comments if there will be a return, and this will be our addendum bug in in my last perfume and basically undefeatable Garfimi. Those guys are not Garfimi. They are my bug teams. Bug team six, and it's basically undefeatable giant spiders. And by basically undefeatable, that's what it means. They are basically undefeatable. We have five of them for now. If I can get fifty or so, we are good for the rest of the game. So those five people will now start getting trained. And here they are in all of their six-legged beauty. At least the sprite only has six legs. Glosh Korsha, age 135, so basically a, a baby. Those guys can get up to 1,000 years old. And 
Glosh Korsha is actually training at the moment to become a soldier in our Bark Team 6. One thing I have to keep a close eye on is the food count. If this drops below 20, those guys will just take all the stuff and leave us again. We don't want that to happen. Okay, just out of cur curiosity, I will use my 5 Arganash with 50 little Garfimi slaves. And we'll try the fight again that we lost before against a new pond. Because I think even though they are not trained, Argonosh are still pretty deadly. But I might be wrong completely. We will find out. It is only five of them after all. How is the morale looking? Morale is at 19. That's pretty good. Those Tilabis have better attack and defense stats. All other stats are looking in my favor. So let's take our five Spider Bros and they will... They will attack them. I don't know if I should charge, but I will just try it. And let's see how it goes. Okay. Because of the force stat, they are throwing them around a bit. They should also be doing quite some damage. I don't want my... My Garfimi to fight. They are just... They just die too quickly, and now my... My Argonosh are taking the fight. Let's see what happens. I'm also charging in my Garfimi, but they are sc <laughs> shattering immediately. Which also puts quite a damper on the morale of my Argonosh. So that was a mistake. But they are regenerating morale, I think. Or they shouldn't be breaking, at least. Okay, I think they are just missing some training. The Lapis are dying pretty quick, but I think my Argonos will break soon. Oh no, the morale is going up actually. They are just chewing through them. They've killed quite a few so far. No Argonos dead yet. So I think I... I could have probably taken this fight with only five of those guys and no support. They are looking fine. Now they are getting attacked. Did we lose one? No, not yet. The Telapis, on the other hand, are looking less than stellar. They've lost 40 so far. My Argonosh is still looking good. Just goes to show how absolutely bonkers broken those two races are, Kansas and Naganosh. They are incredibly strong. Fifty left. They are trying to fend me off. The morale is going down. 36 left. My Argonosh are ripping through them. Two of my Argonosh are dead. Three of them are dead. Oh, this is close. 
Only one left. Oh, and we defeat we got defeated. Okay, that was an experiment. We lost quite a bit of stuff. But as you saw, what five untrained but well equipped Argonish could do. Imagine what 50 could do. We just need to wait a bit for more of them to join us. And we need to secure more havens on the world map. If we can get this region of Blazandi over here, we have one, two, three, three, uh, three havens under our control immediately. And that would actually make this play food, probably. That's, that's the goal for the next episode. So, thank you for watching and until next time, goodbye.